race. It is Porsche Carrera Cup Benelux 2024, and we are go! A great start for Paul Meyer, but an even better start for Benjamin Pack. He's done exactly what he did yesterday, leading the field into last source. That tricky first corner, there's a lock-up. Looks like Yannick Kakao further back, locking up into the corner, but they all make it around the last source. Now, this is the big foot flat to the floor, this massive gradient, the car's coming up the hill, here we come, up a Rouge, around to Radion. The start being investigated as often the way by the race stewards, track limits also being investigated. Once again, cars taking a very wide line out of Radion and to the runoff area, but Benjamin Pack leading the way, Paul Meyer is second, Roman Knudsen, keep an eye on Dirk Schuten on the outside of Roman Knudsen, taking a little bit to the runoff area, but Dirk Schuten challenging for that position into the podium position. It's car 34, Dirk Schuten. So we've got a car stranded, and it is uh, Walter Sveatris stranded out on the track. It's going to bring a yellow flag out. So car 121 stranded out on the circuit at the moment. The driver that finished in fourth place yesterday and second in the Pro Am race. Now, if he can get it going, then we should be all good. But there's other cars there as well. That's Mike Rosenberg and Ralph Poplar. So both of them are also in strife. Now, are we going to get a safety car here? Hopefully, we can keep everything going. But Benjamin Pack in the lead. Paul Meyer, Dirk Schuten, the man on a mission. Keep an eye on the green, black and white car. Sam Yongyan up to ninth place already. He was on a mission yesterday. There's the one, two, three, just breaking clear. Robin Knudsen at the moment. Niels Langeveld in fifth place. So we've still got cars stranded out on track at the moment. Safety car is out. So another car that's into the gravel, and that is Ziad Giris, just coming round to complete another lap, of course, under the safety car. He'll want to be accelerating just as Paul Mai isn't. And it's his decision when he goes. The only rule is that Benjamin Pack must not catch or overtake the safety car. Well, that's a long way up the road, so no problems there. And uh, the cars need to remain in single file. And now Benjamin Pack goes. You can see he's hit the accelerator. He's done exactly what he needs to do. Paul Myers dropped back into the clutches of Dirk Schuten. Keep an eye on the yellow and red 34 car. Roman Knudsen, something of a star yesterday as well behind them. Paul Meyer picks up the pace at the bus stop and towards the start finish line and towards turn one. That's all suddenly Schuten looking vulnerable to Roman Knudsen. Knudsen moves to the outside, ducks back to the inside. Schuten goes to block. Cannot change direction again, but he does exactly what he needs to do to keep the number 32 car behind him. Out and towards Eau Rouge they come. It's a downhill section here, flat out. And then it'll be up the steep hill towards Radion. Benjamin Pack leading the way. And you can see, again, he has such a gap over Paul Meyer. What can the number seven car do? What can Dirk Schuter do in the number 34 car? Dirk Schuter, who has so many fans, he ran a kilometers over the winter to raise money for his racing and this is paying off all the people that funded him and sponsored him have their names printed on the back of the number 34 car they will be cheering from the side as he challenges for position Paul Meyer in that second place at the moment Cobra Powell's the leading rookie driver in the 22 car further back Sasha Norton Sam Yongyan running side by side it's Norton to the inside this is the ninth place Sam Yongyan trying to go the long way round but he can't hold the position Sasha Norton is through he steals ninth place away from Sam Yongyan Colin Bernickhausen just ahead of him now. Here comes our race leader, breaking clear slightly. About seven tenths of a second. Paul Meyer just picking up a teeny bit of dirt, using as much of the track as he dare. But the stewards are watching carefully because track limits are an issue here at spa Frankenstein. We saw a number of drivers, including Dirk Schuten, who exceeded track limits yesterday, picked up a penalty. Black flag for car 12, and that's Mike Rosenberg. He's at the back of the pack, so race controller asking him to return back to the pits. He was involved in the incident that brought out one of the incidents that brought out the safety car earlier on in the race. Meanwhile, Benjamin Pack, the gap has started to close back down. Paul Meyer suddenly 
looking eager. He's winding it up, the car number seven. He's been quick in the Hansmeister Motorsport Porsche. The number 92 car for DHM Luxury Performance leading the way at the moment. Taking a little look to the outside, Paul Meyer, nothing going there at the moment. There's a gap on the inside, and then to the outside, through the bus stop they come. Across the grid to complete another lap in towards La Source. Suddenly, that big lead that Benjamin Pack had has disappeared. Paul Meyer looks to the inside, ducks back to the outside. He wants to make the challenge, but he doesn't want to let Dirk Schuten through. Schuten is there, ready to pass, but he too has his mirrors far up, Robin Knudsen. One, two, three, four, remaining exactly the same at the moment. Keep an eye on Neil Slagerfeld in fifth place, just behind them as well. One, two, three, four, five, almost running in a row. Then is our leading rookie, Cobra Bowers in the number 22. He's got Colin Berlinghausen behind him. Dirk Schuten to the side of Paul Meyer. Alongside the Kemmel straight, they come running side by side. The one, two, three, running all together on the track. Still Benjamin Pack holding on, but Dirk Schuten around the outside of Paul Meyer into that second place. A daring, audacious move into second place for the 34 car. You see the back end stepping out now. Paul Meyer coming back around the outside. The two cars almost making contact. Holding it together, Ram Brussel down towards Biggs corner still. Benjamin Pack leading the way. Dirk Schuten in second place. Paul Meyer in third. Robin Knudsen there as well. Niels Langeveld in the fifth place. The one, two, three, four, five, all together. Then a gap back to Colin Berninghausen. Now the leading rookie, Sasha Norden in seventh place at Cobra Powell's in that eighth place. So what a challenge for the lead. What could Dirk Schuter do about Benjamin Pack? He was so frustrated with his race yesterday. He got together with Ralph Poplar, was spun around, he picked up penalties for track limits. He wanted to put that right today, and he is racing for his life now. In that second place, car 34, two tenths of a second behind Benjamin Pack, the driver who won by such a margin yesterday. Now with the 34 car, absolutely filling his mirrors, but car 34, Dirk Schuten under investigation for overtaking off track on lap one at turn six. So the stewards are looking at car 34. Will he get a penalty? He's going to need to get past Benjamin Pack if he possibly can, because if there is a penalty coming, he'll need the gap. Keep an eye on Nils Langeveld in fifth place at the back of that queue. This is exactly what we love about Porsche Carrera Cup. Benelux, the leading five cars running absolutely nose to tail. Now Sasha Norden breaking clear of Colin Berninghausen in that sixth place. Berninghausen, our leading rookie driver. Yanni Kakea in 16th place is our leading pro-am driver. But in the overall race, we are looking at our championship leader leading the race. But the man with the fan club, Dirk Schuter, the man charging his way up through the pack, challenging for that lead. Paul Meyer, our pole sitter, currently in third place. Of course, this is about getting the car to the end. Car 34, five second time penalty added to his total race time for overtaking off track at turn six. He's gonna need to do something about that. He's gonna need to get past Benjamin Pack. He does exactly that. The two cars make contact and Pack spins. Benjamin Pack, the car turns around. It's his Dirk Schuten, who is our new race leader. Paul Meyer looking eager. In second place, Benjamin Pack, after such a strong display. The car spins around. He has to rejoin further back. Dirk Schuten with a five second time penalty over him. It means that if he wants to hold on to that lead, he will need to win by more than five seconds. You can see the two cars got together. The stewards will take a look at that. By my reckoning, it looked very much like a race against them. That's Sam Yongyan, who's been in the wars. The car is damaged, so Sam Yongyan parked up at the side of the track. I think that's up towards turns five and six. But Sam Young, Young, we're damaged, we may well get a safety car here. Let's have a look and see what happened. He collects it, Benjamin Pack. The two cars getting together. Absolutely nowhere for Sam Young, Young to go. Benjamin Pack, who rejoined in the path of Sam Young, Young. Safety car is out. And that is an absolute disaster for both Benjamin Pack and Sam Young. Young. So the 65 car, a lot of damage. There is the race leader, Dirk Schuter. May I remind you, he has
has a five second time penalty that will be added for overtaking off track on lap one at turn six and uh, this is the moment robin knudsen was on the inside and there it was you can see he goes into the runoff area i mean it wasn't far but it's far enough isn't it and uh, dirk shooten with a time penalty and it means that if he wants to win this race not only does he have to cross the line first he's gonna have to do it five seconds ahead of paul meyer he has been so spectacular in Porsche Carrera Cup and Lux. He made his debut last year in this series, was fourth overall and second in the Rookie Championship. Right, confirmation, safety car is in on this lap. We are getting ready to go racing. What can Dirk Schuten do? He has a five second time penalty weighing over him. Dirk Schuten. Just keeping heat in the tyres at the moment, weaving, it'll be his decision when he hits the accelerator, which will be now, and he goes. Nels Langeveld anticipating well, Robin Knudsen, he can't overtake until they reach the start-finish line, but he's there and he's raring to go in the number 10 car, Knudsen having a little look towards Paul Meyer. Now, Dirk Schuten leading them across the line to start this race for the second time of asking. Eight minutes plus one lap remaining out onto the pit straight. They come towards La Source. It's Dirk Schuten. He's opened up a good lead. Paul Meyer there as well. Robert Knudsen coming under pressure from Nels Langeveld. In the background, Sasha Norden just picking his time into La Source to the inside. Robert Knudsen holding on to that position. Langeveld trying to get around the outside, but in doing so, opening up the gap to Sasha Norden. Colin Berninghausen challenging Langeveld for that fifth place and it is Colin Berninghausen one of the young chargers running side by side Arma Rouge and out across to Radion Berninghausen going very wide off the racing line Langeveld coming back side by side they run absolutely nose to tail here and another car in there as well Cobra Powell the seventh place driver trying to get involved Less than seven and a half minutes remaining. It's still advantage Langeveld for that fifth place, Berninghausen. Now, under pressure, Powers has found a route on the inside. The two cars running side by side. Powers just about with a nose in front. He squeezes Colin Berninghausen. Now he has Urien de Bat for company. Urien de Bat behind the 55 car of Colin Berninghausen. Such close racing. This is for sixth place. Porsche Carrera Cup, Benelux at its best, Dirk Schuten. 1.9 seconds, he needs another three seconds if he wants to win this race. Paul Meyer just in that second place, he would have had the message that there is a penalty for Dirk Schuten. He does not need to pass him on the track, he just needs to stay within five seconds. Robin Knudsen there as well, now under pressure from the very impressive Sasha Norden. Car just picking up some dirt. I think it was Paul Meyer just going a little bit wide, but keeping it all together. The dirt on the tires and on the tires will affect the traction for a few corners, but he's looking all solid in that second place. But this plays into the hands of Dirk Schuter. We've got one eye on the track and one eye on the clock. Dirk Schuter, currently the fastest man with the fastest lap. He'll get an extra point if he can keep that fastest lap. One point for the fastest lap, and one point for pole position in Porsche Carrera Cup Benelux. It's Dirk Schuten, 2.4 seconds. A little under six minutes plus one lap remaining. Can he get it up to five seconds and win his first ever race in Porsche Carrera Cup Benelux? Robin Knudsen under pressure for the last of the podium positions. Sasha Norden, a relatively experienced pilot compared to many of the drivers around him. Very, very quick, stepping up from the pro -Am category to race for the overall championship this year in the number 21 car. The very experienced Niels Langeveld just behind him. Looking down towards that source, which is turn one. The car's running through single file at the moment. Five and a quarter minutes, plus one lap remaining. There is Paul Myers, second place, the battle for third place. Robin Knudsen using as much of the curb as he dared. Sash in order, tracking his every move. They've left Nils Langeveld behind in fifth place. There's a gap there now. So Sash in order could potentially challenge Robin Knudsen and not surrender a position because Nils Langeveld is just a little bit too far back at the moment. Jules Brown still our leader in the Pro-Am category in 13th place. 
is Cobra Pals, the very impressive Cobra Pals in sixth place, who is the leading rookie driver, Colin Burdickhouse in second of the rookies, and Yuri at the back third. So, four and a half minutes, what is the gap? 3.285, the last time they crossed their timing beat. Dirk Schuter still needs another one and a half seconds if he wants to win this race. Car number seven, Paul Meyer, just doing what he needs to do, keeping Schuten within his eye line. Robin Knudsen fighting with Sasha Norden behind. They're second, third, fourth, and fifth, running pretty well together on the track at the moment. Schuten has checked out, but has he checked out enough? Still, he's got less than four minutes to open up another second and a half. We've got one eye on the screens. What will it be next time he comes around? Car 34. The, uh, that's a confirmation of what we've seen already, the five-second time penalty for overtaking off-track. Right at the beginning of this race, we saw him going into the blue runoff area, and that penalty hanging over him like a sword. He needs another 1.3 seconds now. He's got less than three and a half minutes to do that, plus the one lap of racing. Robin Knudsen dropping back a bit from Paul Meyer. Meyer now 3.923 so Schuten needs another second he's doing a good job his uh, last lap at 223.771 the last lap for Paul Meyer was a 224.878 so Schuten is doing exactly what he needs to do you're in the back has had a warning for track limits the number four car in eighth place so uh, Stewart's just taking a look at that at the moment. Track limits, we knew coming into this weekend, track limits were going to be an issue. And so it has proven to be the case. There is our race leader. There is the gap, back to second place, 4.228. He's got to find another eight tenths of a second. He needs to just keep doing what he's doing now. Paul Meyer in second place. Robin Knudsen in third. There's your podium positions. Sasha Norden in that fourth place. Nils Langeveld in fifth. The one, two, three, four, five, running well. Second through to fifth, running pretty close together. But Schuten has checked out. 4.351 is the gap between first and second. He needs six and a half tenths if he wants to win this race. Paul Meyer in the background in the blue car. And then behind them, Robin Knudsen. There is your second place, Paul Meyer. In the number seven, 4.326, I can hear all of the Dirk Schuten fan club shouting from here. He has a massive following his YouTube channel. Always worth checking out some great point of view perspectives. He uh, posts uh, a lot of onboard stuff. If you want to get a feel for what it's like to drive one of these cars, check out his YouTube channel. And if he could win this race, it will be so popular. But Paul Meyer trying to peg it back. 4.326 seconds was still about a second slower on the previous lap. Of course, this is a long lap here at Spa Frankenstein. Seven, just a tad over seven kilometers. And uh, Dirk Schuten still giving it everything. Now, three and a half tenths is the uh, gap that he needs to open up. A warning for car 48 for track limits. That is Thomas Cangro. 48 car, Thomas Cangro down in 12th place in the rookie category at the moment. We're looking at one of the drivers who started towards the front yesterday. That's Nick Ho in the 98 car, 10th place. And another driver who was so good yesterday, Dolmas Radonis for Team GP Elite. Team GP Elite who know how to prepare one of these cars and they have so many good, talented drivers. And he's putting all of that skill to good use as he challenges Nick Ho for 10th place. Look into the inside, into La Sorta. Big gap on the inside, under braking. Sails on through, job done. Car five moving up a position. Nick Ho relegated down to 11th place. The number 98 car trying to come back though. Rouge to rally on, they come. Here's our race leader, 4.968. He is so close, he needs five seconds. And that is it, 5.173. So he's over the five seconds. The clock has struck zero. Once the clock strikes zero, it's whatever is remaining on that lap, plus one more. So Dirk Schuten now needs to just keep that gap 
at over five seconds, and he will win this race. Paul Meyer doing what he can, but 5.173 was the gap last time across the line in third place. Robin Canoose is still there. That's what five seconds looks like. There is Dirk shooting in the background. You can see the second place, Paul Meyer car. Robin Canoose and Sasha Norden in the fourth place. And Nels Langeveld in fifth. Cobra Piles in sixth. The leading rookie, Jules Growl in 15th. The leading pro-am driver, second, third, and fourth. Now, what can Paul Meyer do? Not a lot by the looks of things. 5.43 seconds is the gap between first and second. Dirk Schuten leading this race, looking for his first ever win in Porsche Carrera Cup Benelux. And if he can bring this home to the top step of the podium, it will be such a popular win. Paul Meyer, though, who has been so quick, he was really wanting to take part this year, has had to pull together a budget to race in Porsche Carrera Cup Benelux. Sasha Norden running side by side with Robert Knudsen, looking for a podium position. This is for third place. Knudsen has him at the moment. But Sasha Norden having a little look to the inside, to the outside. But it's Sasha Norden who is still in that fourth place. Robin Knudsen holding on. Now, Niels Langeveld in fifth place has closed in on this battle. He fancies a little shot at the podium as well. Keep up, Cobra Pauls just behind them. Heading out towards last source. This is for the final time. Dirk Schuten, 5.845 seconds. This is all that he needs if he can hold this gap. But you know that Paul Meyer will be giving it everything on this last lap because if he can take eight tenths out of that lead gap, he will take the top step of the podium. The orange and black cars. You'll growl the leading pro and driver behind him. It's Walter's Vandress. We saw him in traumas earlier on in the race, but he's rejoined. He's in 14th place. Yanni Kakea is in 15th place, second in the Pro Am race. And uh, Maxim Berto, good job from him from the back of the pack, and he is in 16th place. Paul Meyer there in second place. Robin Knudsen, the third place driver. Sasha Norden all over him. You can see how hard Paul Meyer is trying. You saw him just kicking up the dirt as he went wide through the corner, trying to hold it all together. But the gap is now up to 6.285 seconds. Dirk Schuter, dare he dream about this? He's been wanting to stand on the top step of the podium in Porsche Carrera Cup Benelux for so long. Now the last few corners of this circuit for the number 34 car for Q1 track racing ahead of Paul Meyer. The five second time penalty that will be applied to Dirk Schuter will mean nothing if he can keep the gap as it is because he will still be 1.3 seconds ahead of second place, third place. The battle is far from over. Robert Knudsen with Sasha Norden trying all of the tricks that he knows to try and get past the young number 32 car driver. But still Knudsen holding on to that podium, looking to uh, equal his best result ever, which he scored yesterday. But the man who's now coming home six and a half seconds ahead of second place, Dirk Schuten in the last part of the lap into the bus stop he comes. It's gonna be a first ever win for Dirk Schuten, car 34 for Q1 track racing. You can see how much it means to him in the car. He wins his first ever race in Porsche Carrera Cup Benelux. Dirk Schuten also had the fastest lap of the race, so we'll get a bonus point for that. Car oh, number 34, the man with the golden helmet. He's going to climb out of that. He will be ecstatic. He has wanted this win for so long. He climbs from the car. The fans absolutely love what they're seeing here at Spa Frankenstein under the sunshine here on this Saturday morning. Wonderful stuff. Onto the roof of the car. Dirk Schuten, I've done it. Race winner. Brilliant. And now an absolute championship contender, and that is great sportsmanship. Paul Meyer congratulating the driver who finished in front of him. And Paul Meyer, yeah, the relief. I spoke to Dirk after qualifying yesterday morning, and he was just fairly philosophical about what had occurred. And uh, just knew he had a lot of work to do. Uh, today, he's made up for it. Beautiful stuff. Car 34, 
as they get onto the podium. It took a while. Here we go then, the one, two, three, onto the podium. It is Robin Knudsen in third, Paul Meyer in second, your race winner, Dirk Susan. Sports, there seems to be uh, a Dutch driver on the top step of the podium. Dirk Schuten about to receive a trophy. That will mean so much to him. The driver lifting the trophy of what will be probably one of his greatest achievements so far. He raises it high, the smile on his face. The celebration starts for Dirk Schuten, and he's got a month to just wallow in this one and reflect. We just did it. We just won the race. Amazing feeling uh, to be here and to win in race two, just starting from P5 and then to win it here, just incredible. The pace was unbelievable. Amazing to see all the fans here. And uh, here it is. First place, just can't be happier right now. So uh, yeah, thank you all for supporting me. And also thanks to my legends that support me along the way and if you want to support me you can do so uh, with the GoFundMe link so these legends are all supporting me and they are here on my car wow just man phenomenal to uh, end the weekend like this next stop is Zandvoort